The House Committee on Nigerian Local Content Development and Monitoring, led by Boma Good Ed, has instructed the Nigerian Content Development Monitoring Board, NCDMB, to furnish relevant documents concerning investment in transactions within the specified period. This directive follows apparent dissatisfaction with the submission made by the board's former director for finance, Isaac Yala, and its current director of project certification and authorization, Abayo Mibamidele. During a resumed investigative hearing, the committee delved into the management of resources accumulated by NCDMB over the years. It was revealed that the board had engaged in investment with certain partners without conducting due diligence, potentially impacting the country's economy negatively. I'm, I'm not sure whether you're aware that the impaired loan ratio for BOI for its own funds that it disposes as loans to beneficiaries is just about 3.8%. So in other words, their bad loan portfolio is just about 4%. But in this particular case, and the money is due, you have about 30% bad loan um, ratio. And then you went ahead to tell this honorable committee that you are happy with the performance of your funds with the BOI. Now, you mentioned the fact that you have CBN guarantee for those loans. Why have you not called on that guarantee as at now? That's number one. Number two, I believe sincerely that you have very, very poor oversight of $320 million Nigerian taxpayers' money that you domiciled with BOI. And I'm curious to know why your own funds seems to have a very high bad uh, loan, I mean, non-performing loan ratio compared to their own funds. That company has one, one Naira per share capital of 10 million Naira. That was what they registered that year, 2020. That same company was giving 35 million US dollars of Nigerians' money, not more up to one year after its incorporation. Right? Not up to 35 million US dollars after its incorporation. Yet, up till this day, the second one is in Lagos. Uh, there is this um, um, free zone uh, in uh, the college near Ekpe on the express road. So those were the two. We started with the buyer someone, and if I remember, it was 5.3 million dollars to do 400,000 per annum type three cylinder, the plastic type, because they are being imported. And what drove that decision that time was this Nigerian gas expansion program under former president. Basically, they want to use LPG to penetrate the entire country. So we started for uh, 400. We appropriated funds which we sent to Bank of Industry because we wanted to intervene. And um, if you want me to go back a bit, um, when I joined the board, um, there was a partial guarantee scheme that was existing. Uh, because these funds are contributed by the industry and it's meant to be used for the industry um, to grow Nigerian content, what we call local content today, by supporting the contributors. So I met a partial guarantee scheme with Guarantee Trust Bank and a few other banks, which means that then, before TSA, the monies were in those banks. And while they were in those banks, if you give loan to any Nigerian company, for instance, if they perform well, NCDMB will give a 50% rebate to that. So that system did not work specifically because the commercial banks, as we all know, when they have monies, they will not want to release these monies to the beneficiaries. So when we came on board, um, with the wisdom of the former executive secretary, um, Bank of Industry was invited and we looked at it and it was cheaper um, because uh, the commercial banks were giving high interest rates for, for the start. So I think that was how these funds were appropriated and sent to Bank of Industry 